What's going on YouTube? It's Eric, Oakland A's 915, finally getting around to my top 10 list of uh, 1997 Mark McGuire's. But first I want to give a shout out to Bill, the Hall of Fame collector. He uh, suggested that I do a top 20 list from about 1997 to 2000 just because of uh, the amount of awesome cards that are in that year. So Bill, I am in fact going to do a top 20 list. I tried doing a top 10 list and um, I just felt like I was leaving off some cards that uh, were way too cool not to show. So we are doing top 20. So thanks for the idea, Bill. And I also want to give another shout out to John, Wade Boggs fan, because he is actually the inspiration behind these videos. Um, I really enjoyed watching his top 10 lists and figured, hey, you know what, that's a great way to, to uh, showcase some cards. And so here we are doing, uh, doing another top 10 list. And speaking of top 10 lists, um, I'm even getting Nate Tops 85401 involved. Tomorrow we are going to go live on his channel. Um, probably, let's see, I'd say it's about um, 4 o'clock Mountain Time, 3 o'clock Pacific. And uh, we're going to do a, a top 10 video on his channel as well. So come check that out. Um, not sure if we're going to be interacting with everybody or just doing our list, but uh, I guess we'll. Uh, just play it by ear and see what happens. But uh, anyways, guys, um, here we go um, with my top 20 1997 Mark McGuire's. So I'm going to turn the camera around and we'll get started. All right, guys, here we go with my top 20 1997 Mark McGuire baseball cards. Today we are doing numbers 20 through 11. And one thing I should note is, to be honest, I didn't put a whole lot of thought into the order of these. I think if I changed it around, it really wouldn't matter all that much. So bear with me. <laughs> um, I, was, I think I put more thought into uh, as far as what cards I was going to put in the video, put on this list. So we are going to go ahead and get into it. Start with 1997 score, but I went with the subset. Going Yard Artist Proof, which I looked up the pack odds on this, and it's only 1 in 23 packs. However, it's making this list because of the cool design. And to be honest, um, I don't, you know, 1 in 23, I'm starting to wonder if the, uh, the subset's a little bit harder to find than that because I do not know a whole lot of Maguire collectors that have this card. And also, I just I just haven't seen it very many times over the years so that and the uh just the cool looking design makes that uh come in at number 20 on this uh on this list and we're gonna move right along to number 19 and that would be from 97 Fleer Diamond Tribute and um super cool looking card great design um pack odds on this were 100 one in 288 packs. However, um, I think the uh, I think these these cards seem to be a bit tougher than what the uh, odds might state. Um, I'm guessing possibly a card that uh, might be set collected, but uh, just doesn't seem like uh, this card pops up a whole lot. And when it does, it goes for uh, it'll it'll draw some uh, some decent money. So that's number. 19 and then number 18 I could have gone with the 1997 uh, pinnacle mirror gold however I decided I actually liked the subset a little bit more so I went with that one for number 18 this is the uh, 1997 pinnacle mirror gold subset so theoretically this is the less desirable card however i just think uh has a bit cooler of a de design so that's why i put this one on the list instead um this was the uh this was the year that uh a little controversy in this set because um when it was first released everybody just assumed that the uh 
mirror golds were a stated print run of 30 like they had been the year before. However, I guess because, uh, or rumor has it, that since Pinnacle was uh, having some financial trouble and um, they were really trying to, to make some make some more money, so they um, apparently they were, uh, they think they did about uh, three print runs of these. So this, the, uh, it's, although it's not a stated print run, people th seem to think that these there's about 90 of these. So, but anyhow, Great looking card, great design, and uh, that's why it comes in at number 18. And here we go with 1997 Pacific Silver. And uh, I'm sure you guys know this is the card that uh, a lot of people will mistake for the um, Pacific uh, Light Blue, which I do not have, but. Uh, I remember when I when I was getting ready to buy this card, I asked several other collectors I know. I uh, had them look at the pictures, and everybody, you know, agreed that that did in fact look silver. And so these have a stated print run of 67. Super tough card. I really um, I can't seem to recall ever seeing another copy besides mine. Um, I do know another a couple of other collectors that have it, but uh, like I said, I haven't I haven't. Besides this one, I haven't uh, seen another one for sale, so that's why this one makes the list. Next up, now this card here, I am convinced that the 97 Donruss Power Alley die cut, convinced that this card here has got to be heavily set collected because uh, this sucker took me freaking forever to find. Um, let me back that up. At, I remember, I don't know, four or five years ago, it seemed like there was at least always one of these up. And I just had never gotten around to um, to getting my copy. And then um, it seemed that <laughs> over the years, those just all disappeared. And then all of a sudden, it seemed to be a super popular card. This used to sell for about $30. And uh, like I said, you'd see them a lot more often. But I don't know. I guess, I guess uh, this card has gained some popularity. And it is tough 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 to find this is a power alley die cut this is the one that looks like it's uh has a serial number of 4000 but uh only the first 250 are die cut but uh it really comes in on my list just because of the uh just because of the cool looking design and die cut alone so that's why that's like number what is that 16 or Something like that. I don't even remember. I don't think it really matters. All right. Coming in at, uh, I guess it does matter, because I, sh I should tell you guys what number this is. Let's see, 20, 19, 18, 17. That was number 16. So coming in at number 15, we got the first year of the Platinum Medallions. And you can see that uh, why it's called a Platinum Medallion. And uh, super cool card. Uh, these had a stated print run of 200. And I also thought it was cool that they, um, these are kind of like an early version of the uh, photo, short print photo variation. Because, um, let's see how this has a different different uh, photo than the, than the base card. And it is, in fact, short print. And so, Tops was not the first company to do that. But anyhow, yeah, this is the, uh, I don't think the first couple years were, uh, were, had a serial number, but, um, maybe it was 98. I honestly can't remember. 98 or 99, one of them, they, they, uh, did in fact put a, a, a serial number. But anyways, yeah, this is the first year of the Platinum Medallion, and, uh, that's a must-have card in my opinion. And here we go with the 1997 Circa Rave. And um, kind of a different looking card, that, that's for sure. These are serial numbered to 150. But um, this was a, uh, this was a, Circa started off as it was going to be a super premium brand. However, um, didn't uh, really sell like that. It, people thought the price was kind of high for for the card, they ended up lowering it, and eventually it became kind of more of a, a, a kids, uh, kids brand, 
lower end kid brand and uh, I think that's what makes these cards super tough to find because even though 150 you know that that is in fact uh, that's a pretty tough card to find but um, I, th I think they're uh, even tougher than that to be honest so coming in at number 14 is the uh, 97 Circa Rave all right coming in at number 13 card I got from my boy Schmitty that would be the 1997 silver embossed refractor and you know what man this card just uh just deserves to be on this list with design alone because uh because that card just looks so killer um pack odds not that not that tough one in 192 packs to pull one of these but um you, if you look closely, you can actually see that um, it it's pretty similar to the Super Fractor technology, but just a different color. So you can see that Tops was already on onto that technology back in 1997, actually 1996 when they did the uh, Bowman's uh, Bowman's Best Atomic Refractor. But uh, yeah, it just uh, really worked out nicely on this set, and then. Uh, just a great looking card and then luckily for me Maguire uh, had several cards in this set he had a he had a bronze a silver and a gold which um, I think you guys are already know and that's going to be coming up on uh, on this list later on okay number 12 I believe we are going with the 97 EX cut above which um, this is just a super popular card, super popular design. I mean, you can see why. You know, it's just that uh, that die cut, looking like a saw blade, and you know the uh, refractive type material. It just it is just a killer design. And uh, even though, let's see, the pack odds on this were one in two hundred eighty-eight. Um, not a super tough card to find, to be honest. Uh, there's usually at least one of these up at at least all, at one up at all times. But um, I would say that this card has definitely gained some popularity in the past few years. I remember when you could pick this card up right here for about twenty-five to thirty dollars, and um, now this one's gonna run you about a hundred. So even though it is actually not that rare, it's gonna um, it's gonna get that price tag just on popularity alone. And, I mean, just by looking at it, you can uh, you can definitely see why. So that is why it makes the list at number twelve. And coming in at number eleven, I think some of you guys are going to be shocked this didn't make the top ten, and that's because the top ten next week is going to be that good. But uh, I went ahead with the nineteen ninety seven Donruss Preferred Precious Metals. Um, this is the card that has that contains one gram of fine gold and this is a really unique thing that Dunruss came up with that year and uh they were they were not they're not uh serial numbered however it did have a stated print run of 100 and um just uh yeah like a totally unique thing that Dunruss did that year adding um pieces of gold and platinum and silver into the into the cards really cool and uh and just man this sucker uh this one you know i just got this recently this is uh this was not an easy one to get but uh anyways that is going to do it for today's list um the first half of the top 20 1997 mcguires uh next weekend i will do the top 10 list and uh, don't forget tomorrow if you want to tune into nate's channel um, I'm going to be on there doing another top 10 list with him. Um, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. You guys uh, come hang out and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Well, I appreciate you guys watching today and I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Talk to you later.